So the goal of this tutorial is to download Joomla, right, and WordPress, and then unzip these files and get the corresponding files into our website folders on our web server in our web directory. So I'm running WAMP server, it's on. If I go to the web directory, I've got a folder for each site, site one, site two, and site three. And now what I need is the downloaded files. So I've already downloaded them to the desktop. I'll show you that now. If you look here, I've downloaded these items and I've got them on my desktop. So here is Joomla 1.5, here's Joomla 2.5, Here's WordPress 3.4.2. And where did I download these from? Well, let's take a look at that. So I'll go here and open up the web browser. Here's the website for Joomla, joomla.org. You'll just click on the download link. And right up at the top is a version for 2.5.6, the full package in a zip format. Then if you scroll down, I also wanted to get 1.5. So I downloaded 1.5.26, full package, and I downloaded it with this zip download. And I clicked on this link and saved it to my desktop. Now I've got the version, the old version, 1.5, and I have a copy of the new version, 2.5, on my desktop. For WordPress, I went to wordpress.org, and you can see here it says download WordPress 3.4.2. So I clicked on this link, it took me to another page, where I can download WordPress 3.4.2 and save it to my desktop. Also, you'll notice that some of these sites will have a version that is a tar.tar.gz file. Now, this version is for a Linux system, so many people's web servers are Apache web servers, which are usually run on Linux operating systems, so this is a good version to download and install onto your web server if you are, in fact, running an Apache web server on a Linux web server. But a zip, the zip version will also work on Apache, also on a Linux-based web server. So I just use the .zip version to keep it simple. Plus it works on both systems, Windows or Linux, really easily. Okay, so we've downloaded these files, and now we have them here on our desktop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extract and I'll start with the old version of Joomla 1.5 and I'm going to right click on this file and click extract here. Okay, so extract here. It's going to extract the file and you can see right off the bat I've got a problem and that is it's extracting, I'm going to cancel this, it's ex extracting files all over the place onto my desktop which I didn't want. So I'm going to stop that, delete those, right? and I'll delete this. I don't want these extracted all over the place. All right, no good. So what I will do is I'll copy this file, right click on it, and copy this zipped package, and then I'll go into my www folder into site one, and I'll paste it in here. There's the full package zipped up inside of my Site1 folder, and now I'll right-click and say Extract here. And now it will extract the entire Joomla 1.5 framework and all of the files and, and folders necessary to create a Joomla website into my Site1 folder. And that's basically what you want to do. So now I can do the same thing for my other sites. I can go into Site2 and I'll get the Joomla 2.5, copy it, paste it, and then extract it. Extract to here, just right click, extract to here, it's extracting that to there. And then go back here and into site 3, I will extract a copy of the WordPress. So I'll right click here, copy, right click, and right click here and paste. There it is, and extract. So now, when I'm done, I will have an extracted copy of each type of site in my three folders, Site 1, Site 2, and Site 3. Site 1 
if I change the name, I'm going to wait till it's done extracting before I change the name of all these files. Make sure they're done extracting. I believe they are. So this one I could change to site one, and I could say site one dash j one dot five. So I know it's Joomla one dot five. Site two, change the name to dash j dot or j2.5. I know that's 2.5. And the next one, w3.4.2, which is WordPress 3.4.2. So now I have inside each folder. Now you can see here in this folder, the WordPress extracted into its own folder. So that is interesting. And in the Joomla, everything is extracted and in the Joomla 1.5 everything is extracted so I, what I will need to do is move all the files from here inside here to this folder here so that's what I'll do I'll just open this up and I'll do a control A on my keyboard to select everything and I'll right click and cut and then go in here and right click and paste now I can delete this folder. Okay, so now I have the extracted version of WordPress and the extracted version of Joomla 2.5 and Joomla 1.5 ready to go.